So, in the most recent past, load shedding has been one of the most, if not the most common word among Zambian citizens. Obviously, this is due to the fact that the country has been experiencing an energy crisis, obviously due to the drought that the country has experienced earlier. Now, this has negatively affected and impacted citizens, mostly the general citizenry. Bazimai, Bamamariketi, my youth, Bamenebachaya, welding, my youth, Badina Mababa Shoko, and people that are doing errands each and every day to just sit to eat that, you know, they earn a living. Now, obviously, questions have been, now that we've had some good rains, how is the water level at the Kariba Dam? Are we seeing the number of hours reducing in terms of load shedding? Well, I'm here in Siavonga at the Kariba North Bank at the core of uh, Zesco where they've actually invited stakeholders to just come and appreciate the situation where water levels are concerned and obviously look at what the institution itself is doing to ensure that, you know, the load shedding issue is uh, dealt with and uh, how obviously the situation looks like in the future in terms of hours of load shedding. So right about now, we will have to get deep into where power is actually generated so that the engineers here just get to explain to us what really is the situation and what does the future really look like for the people of Zambia who have been negatively affected by, you know, this climate change and obviously load shedding. Remember that the issue of load shedding has not only affected we, the citizens, but even government at large is not sleeping because they want to see to it that you and I as citizens can actually, you know, live lives normally like we used to in the past. So right about now, let's get to see and appreciate the situation here at Kariba North Park. Right, so right about now, we are on the turbine floor right here at the Kariba North Bank. And according to the information that we have, the Kariba North Bank has got six turbines. These four right here were fully operated by Zesco. These are two machines which are part of the other four machines to make it six, which according to the explanation from the people that are operating these machines, if run at the same time, can give the entire country the energy that it deserves. However, Mr. Sidney, who is at the operation head of department here at Kariba North Bank, explains why these six turbines cannot run at the same time. This is the Kariba North Bank power station control room. Uh, in the main hall, we have got six units rated at 180 megawatts, as earlier shown in the previous uh, presentation. We have got the old plant, which is from unit one up to four, and then we've got extension that was done also. Also, the two units are also rated at uh, 180 megawatts each, bringing the total capacity of the station to 1,080 megawatts. So, because of the current situation of the water, as earlier stated in the in the earlier presentation, we are not running all the six units. At the moment, we are just running three units, as can be seen. So, those red ones there shows the units that are running. The other three are not running, but it doesn't mean that they are defective they are ready to start also uh, whenever we want to run them based on the uh, demand. What you're seeing behind me right now is the Kariba Dam itself. And obviously the assumption is that because Mvula Inalo Kamaningi Pakati Apa, maybe the dam is full. But why do we still have load shedding? Why aren't we given the electricity that we want in order to do our businesses, in order for us to run our businesses very well? Yes, the rains rained. Of course, other places were flooded, but engineer Sydney explains why we do not have the power that we need at whatever particular time that we need, despite the fact that it rained very well. Just to show you the current level now. Okay. Uh, normally around this time, this is May, we are getting into June and July. June and July is the maximum month. It's a year. It's a month that we we get all the water. Like for instance. The previous months it had been raining everywhere. Mm -hmm. Zambezi, it had been raining in Zimbabwe, in Angola. So after the rainy season, that water has to still travel. So when it gets to June, July, all that water as a result of the rain reach here. So we expect to receive the maximum amount of water as a result of the rainful season around June and July. So around this time, we're supposed to see at least substantial amount of water. So when there is enough water, all these places, if you've seen on the embankments here, rocky structures, that is supposed to be underwater. Yes. Okay. All this embankment, that island I needs see. to be under, you can't see. I've I'd stayed here 10 years, I've never seen that island of low water levels. Yeah. This embankment, if you've seen on that wall there, there are graduation, there are graduation. Yeah. If you zoom there, my phone is not good enough, it cannot zoom there. But if you have a good enough phone you can zoom you'll be able to see the numbers okay. 
the maximum value there is 489 point something. 489 is the maximum allowable level of water. But the, on the wall there. Uh -huh. Yes. So, so, so the water level is at what? what is it's 477.96 okay, so now. Yes. Yes. So it shows that we are really, really, really low. Very low uh, because if you if you look where, at what level do you think there where the rock is starting, where the trees are starting, what level would be there if you projected it across there? Where the trees are. Where the trees are beginning. If you projected it to the ruler could there. Could be at 487. Could be there. Yeah, could be there. So that is the normal level that we are supposed to be expecting around winter, June, July. In winter, we have the maximum amount of... Then afterwards, we start going down slowly, depending on eh, the usage. So that's so, the way so things now, are. Maybe... And I can testify with you right now that, yeah, according to the explanation, what you are seeing behind, all that, the islands that we are seeing there, under normal circumstances, when the dam is full to its capacity, all those things are supposed to be in water for it to run very well. But as things stand, that area is still isolated, meaning the water is not enough. Maybe that explains why we're still experiencing some load shedding. Engineer Singongo is senior power station manager at Kariba North Bank and has informed stakeholders that Lake Kariba has seen an increase in water levels in the recent past. When you look at the reservoir, the reservoir has been gradually increasing. At the beginning of the year, we were sitting at 475.77, which was about 11%. And now we are sitting at 477.96, which is about 17.2.12%. So all in all, from last year, December, or beginning of January to now, we've risen by 2.1 meters. If we continue with this kind of generation, that's why here we want to be extremely careful in managing this power generation so that we continue to conserve this water resource, right? Because this one now will ensure that we sustain the operations up to the next rainy season. Ladies and gentlemen, the honest truth is this energy crisis has affected everyone in this country, especially we, the ordinary citizens, that survive on little, little businesses that need electricity for us to earn a living. And the honest truth is that in as much as it seems like government is not doing enough to mitigate this situation the honest truth is after this tour personally i can testify that government is doing what it can to ensure that uh, you know we can have enough electricity as a country but obviously this is also dependent on nature so the call for everyone is in as much as we pray for the rents it is also important for us as citizens to do our part if you can buy solar make sure you buy solar if you can invest in alternative sources of energy make sure you invest in those alternative sources of energy otherwise as things stand we still need more and more rents for us to actually get to the normal electricity supply my name is ken dumbo right here in siavonga at the kariba north bank appreciating the little efforts that are being made to ensure that this energy crisis is actually resolved